Here we are in the 1957 Chevy 3100 pickup truck and it's still got the original starter on the floor. Let's crank it up. Fires right up. I left the interior alone. Somebody obviously cut the dashboard. I uh, saw a little dash repair kit in the catalog for I think 20 bucks or something like that. Glass is good in the windshield. The rear glass is good. Weather stripping is good. I've got the replacement glass for the vent windows and also the driver's side window is cracked so we've got the replacement glass for that so the interior is original obviously could stand to be redone if you want to or if you're just going for that rat rod look it's pretty good the body on this truck is awesome let me show you the motor and everything and then we'll turn it off so you can hear better Sorry about that camera action there. It's a beautiful engine detail, brand new battery. My favorite part is the old horn, and it does work. Honk the horn. Do it again. Yep. You're not going to be missed. Alright, let's take a look at the truck. Like I said, the engine detail has been done. Looks awesome. It's got a brand new battery. A little fresh oil change. Take a look at the hood. This truck's the body on this truck is incredibly straight. I'm going to show you down the lines just so that you can see how straight that line is. You see that line? You don't see a bunch of rust on these fenders or anything like that. This is not a rust free truck. It's got some surface rust that I really didn't mess with too much uh, underneath. And then it's got a couple of rust spots up underneath it. But the body is pretty much, I would say, virtually rust free new LED lights, the original bumper, original tailgate. Just want to really show you how straight the body is on this truck. And once again I'll show you the line here. Just so you can see that line on the truck. I mean the truck is just straight. Super, super, super straight. It's got a sweet little rat, rat, rat rod look to it right now with the white wheels matching the white bumper and the white grill. It's got brand spanking new tires. And then I also did something really cool. I took an old timer's advice and I put in a removable bed. This is brand new. I just finished putting it in about an hour ago. It looks awesome. I mean, it just looks so good. This poplar, which is more weather resistant, but the really cool thing is you can drop the tailgate and slide that bed out. It comes out really easy with two people, one person on either side. And underneath it, you've just got your iron bed, and you could toss your, you could use it for a work truck, really. Then we want to go to a car show, slide the bed back in, and it looks so good. The truck runs great, it doesn't leak any oil, which is really surprising. I'm honestly telling you that this thing does not leave oil drips on the garage floor. The transmission shifts out perfectly, reverse, first, second, and third gear all work great. Just put new tie rod ends on. Let me show you the underneath of the truck and the brakes have been redone. It really stops on a dime and it stops straight and true. You don't see a lot of rust. All the rust you're seeing is surface rust. I didn't want to cover it up with a bunch of undercoating.
I wanted you to be able to see the truck true. It's a Southern States truck. The title, which we do have a clear title on it, is actually a jo original Georgia title. The truck went up to Tennessee for a few years. Once again, you see surface rust, but you're not seeing holes. The floorboards are still strong. It's got a newer tailpipe um, or muffler, I guess is the right way to say it. There is a hole back there you can see in the corner on the back of the running board. Nothing major though, there's one on the other side as well. But other than that, like I said, nothing major. I'm going to take a look up underneath it from the back. It's still got the spare tire holder. And once again, I just want to stress the fact that this truck is really clean as far as rust is concerned. Wouldn't take much to just clean it up and really be able to take it to the next level. I'm going to climb all the way under here and show you. There's not a bunch of holes, a bunch of rust that's super evident. There's really about two or three spots on this thing that may need attention of a welder. Other than that, this thing is just a really good, good truck. Fix the glass. I'd probably spend a couple hundred bucks and toss a simple interior in it. I'd just drive it like it is. That's just me. You know, somebody else may want to do an engine swap on it. Somebody else may want to just rat rod it out. Everybody's kind of different about it. But, you know, you buy it, you do with it what you want to. I think it's kind of cool the way it is. And I just wanted to give you one more walk around on it. 1957. The last of the good years as far as I'm concerned, but I know some people like the Apaches. I just am not that crazy about them. I like the 55 and a half through 57. Well, there she is. Super cool.